Hi, good morning guys. Today is Saturday, April 15th. It is currently 9.45 in the morning and usually on Saturdays, I don't set an alarm for when I'm supposed to wake up. Usually I just let myself sleep in because my sleep schedule can get a little iffy during the school week. But I do have a meeting at 10 a.m. with a brand this morning. Usually like brand sponsorship type things don't do anything on the weekends. Like obviously I might film content and whatever, but there's not really much emailing or like calls or anything that happens on the weekend because it's like the weekend so there's usually no work but the brand that i'm working with right now they are based in both new york and europe and the specific team that i'm working on is the one based in europe so they're on europe time so in order for us to do a call we would have to do specific times that fit both of our schedules if i weren't 16 years old and still in high school this would be much easier but since i am going to school every day the only times they were really available were like 8 to 11 a.m. for me which those are the times I'm at school and then another option for during the week was like really really late at night for me and also I don't think I'd be able to do that so they were able to work with me and we booked a quick call today Saturday at 10 a.m. so this is not like a normal occurrence this is just what happened this time because of the schedule so that is what I'm currently getting ready for I haven't had the chance to eat yet but I don't think I'll have the time to do that just because because it's already 9 48 and I'm doing my makeup I literally woke up at like 9 like I set my alarm for 9 but I like fell back asleep as I was holding my camera like because I was gonna set it up to get this video started and I literally fell asleep holding the camera so I didn't actually get out of bed till around 9 30 ish and then I did all my normal stuff that I do like in the bathroom like brush my teeth wash my face all that kind of stuff and now we're back here currently getting ready I know I look really weird right now but I figured since I just just woke up like literally just woke up you guys could probably tell by how I look and my voice I should probably do a little bit more for my makeup so I don't look as tired for this meeting this meeting isn't anything too serious I've already been like emailing them every week about the details for this little project we're working on but they did want to call for this certain part of the project and we're doing it on a Google meet which is basically zoom so I do have to look acceptable but I don't think I'm gonna change my shirt because clothing doesn't matter it's really just up here also these are leftover over braids from yesterday they don't look too too bad they're looking a little rough but they'll do usually Saturdays are kind of like my productive days so I'll either be filming or doing schoolwork or both I try to get all of my stuff done on Saturdays so Sunday I can relax which is why I decided to make today's video a productive day in my life because I woke up earlier than I usually would on a Saturday so I could do this call and I do have a lot of things that I want to do today so that's kind of a long chatty intro to this video but that is basically what I'm doing today we're gonna be very productive and get as much done as we can I stayed up pretty late last night literally just planning content because every month I kind of like to sit down and plan content for the upcoming month or two months so I planned content up to like June 15th I think and that is obviously when my summer starts so I'll be able to make and put out more content for you guys I'm hoping to post twice a week in the summer so yeah that's super exciting It is currently now 9.55. I've been doing my makeup for like 10 minutes. It doesn't usually take me that long, honestly. Mostly because I don't do this much, but also I don't usually talk to a camera while I do it, so I'm doing it a little slower today. I'm gonna join my meeting very soon. I won't be able to film like that much for you guys, obviously because it's a meeting with a brand and the stuff that we're like discussing, I guess, is confidential until the actual, not release of it, but till I can tell you guys about it. But it is a very exciting thing. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. I'm basically ready for my meeting. So I'm going to set the rest of my stuff up, get logged in on my computer and join in just a few minutes. And then afterwards, we can actually get started with the rest of my day.
Okay guys, so the meeting is over. It didn't take too long, which is really great. We basically made a layout of how the rest of this little project is gonna go. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It's definitely gonna take some time, so you probably won't see it for maybe a month, a few months, I'm not sure. But I'm so excited for it to continue. I'm definitely getting hungry, so I'm gonna go down, eat some food, and then start to just plan the things that I'm gonna do today because this is a productive day in my life and I have a lot to do. Okay guys, so I am back. In like a few hours, me and my mom are gonna go to Dick's because she needs to buy something. I don't know what it was, but she asked if I wanted to come with, so I said, why not? Literally, my Sephora package came in. I opened it up just to make sure, like, everything was in there and it looked fine, but I'm gonna keep it in the package till I film my haul video, which is so hard because I already know some of the stuff is gonna take so long to get here, and I really just wanna open it up and show you guys what I got, but I don't wanna spoil it, so. We have that sitting there, ready to be opened for that video, but I don't know if you guys can tell, my room is not doing the best. As I said, I got back from spring break a week ago, and I have yet to even unpack obviously my suitcase just has clothes all that stuff is from spring break my desk is really messy and I really need to clean it so in order to be productive I want to make sure that my environment is clean and especially just because I feel so much better when my room is clean so I'm gonna start out by doing that My camera battery is literally about to die. It's blinking red right now, so I'm gonna make this quick. I just finished cleaning my room. It looks so good and it feels really good. And I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch, just something small, and then me and my mom are gonna head to Dick's, but I really need to charge this battery. Okay, so my mom needs to go to Dick's and the Dick's that I was thinking about is in like a strip mall, but I forgot that it like moved somewhere else or it's just like not a Dick's anymore. So we're actually going to the mall, which has a Dick's in it. And I might stop at a few other places for myself because I want wanted to try the e.l.f. like new beauty ones, like the halo glow ones of like contour, blush, highlighter, that kind of stuff. They're literally sold out everywhere. So I wanted to check if the Ulta had them. So I'm going to do that. I also want to get a Jamba Juice because those are so good. And I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to change. Here's the outfit for today. We have this t-shirt. I think it's from Brandy. My friend Peyton actually gave it to me because we did like a little clothing trade. So it's my shirt now. And then these green sweatpants are also from Brandy. I don't think I'm going to change just because I feel like I want to be comfy today. That's the whole fit. I think we're gonna head to the mall now. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera because I don't think I'm gonna bring my bag and I don't know how much I'm gonna film but whatever I do film, I'll still have my phone so I'll film on there. Alright guys, I'm back. It's a couple hours later. I didn't end up buying anything except for a Jamba Juice smoothie but now it's time to be very productive because I have a good amount of things to do. Honestly, I feel like I don't have that much schoolwork, like homework for the weekend which is kind of surprising so I feel like I'm wrong but I know I have a lot of just like YouTube work to do like planning, sponsorships, editing, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that all organized. First, I'll just write down all my homework in here, get started on that. I am going to start a lot of my AP test prep. I'm only taking one AP this year because I'm a sophomore in high school, so I don't have as many options for APs. Not that I wanna take a lot of APs, but the one that I'm taking is AP European History, which is basically equivalent to AP World History, which I know a lot of other schools have. And it honestly isn't that hard for me at least, so I'm not super, super scared for the AP test, but I do have this AP prep book that I got from Amazon. If you are taking an AP course or AP Euro, I would highly suggest it. Not only does it just have so much information for you to like study, but it also has practice DBQs, LEQs, SAQs, and multiple choice questions with like examples, answers. It tells you why a certain answer is right or wrong. It's just so helpful. So what I did with it the other day is all of these like rainbow tabs are for like different categories or like units. 
units. So like if we go to this one, it takes you to chapter 11. So those are all the different chapters. I have this packet in here right now. This is like the section that I'm reviewing. So I have like all my notes in here, but at the top, all of these little pink post-its represent time periods because AP European history is split up into four time periods. And as we're approaching the test, my class is having different time period tests. So like we just tested on time period three, I think. And then we're going kind of backwards. Now we're gonna take time period one test and time period two tests soon. And then basically our final will be time period four. So I just have all the time periods marked out so I can see that. And this book is just so, so helpful. So I will be using this a lot for AP prep. And that's the majority of like work that I have to do. I know I have to prep for an essay, I think next week that I have in English. And then I know I have some math homework. We're gonna get started with everything and hopefully I can get a lot of it done today and not have to do a lot on Sunday, but we'll just have to see. So it has been an hour. I finished my math homework and I did a good amount of AP studying. Obviously this isn't like homework, so it's not like it's due at a certain point, but I definitely am trying to pace myself to kind of study at a good rate to where by the time my AP test comes around, I'll have studied enough to be prepared, if that makes sense. I am gonna be doing a whole like study with me kind of video. You guys have been requesting it a lot recently and I figured I would wait to film it till a point where I'm actually studying a good amount so I can film more for you guys. Like right now, obviously, I'm studying but it's not like too too much but I'll be filming it in a week or two and I'll definitely have a lot more tips tricks and I'll talk to you guys more about studying how I study and also I'll just be studying along with you guys I also have this thing for English which I really don't want to do but I know I have to do it and basically we have a timed right next week which if you've taken an AP or honors English class you know what that is but this one is based off of the whole entire book that we just finished and I was talking about it in another video how much I didn't like it a tale of two cities we just finished it. I definitely would not read it as like my own choice of a book to read But I can see why schools would want kids to read it if that makes sense Like not only does it teach you history, but it's a good book for us to read I don't know how to explain it But the storyline was good the book itself like the way it was written is just so difficult and we're having a time write on the entire book So instead of just giving us a passage to like annotate and write a time write about they are giving us free reign with this book And they also gave us the prompt early and we can do a little like pre-write for the time to write because you get 70 minutes I think so basically the sheet is to kind of plan out what direction you want to go with the prompt that you're given and then also pick out quotes from the book and write them down before you go into the time to write because you do not want to be spending all of your time finding quotes in the book instead of actually writing the essay so anyways that's another thing I have to do this weekend I don't feel like doing it at all right now but I know I'm gonna have to so I think I might do this I'm not sure I might see what time my family's gonna eat dinner and then decide it's currently 5 p.m. All right guys, so it is basically 9.30 and I'm going to take a shower and then do more stuff like homework and whatever after and maybe a little bit of self care. So let's go do that. Okay, I'm out of the shower. It's basically 10.30. And instead of doing my work here in my bed or at my desk, I think I'm gonna go downstairs in the kitchen slash living room to do a little bit of work just for a change of scenery because all day today I've been working in my room. So I'll go down there. Also, my sister's coming home from a birthday party pretty late. So someone's gonna need to be awake to like get the door for her when she gets home. So I'll be there anyway. Good morning.
morning guys it is the next day i wasn't planning on filming today but i need to work on my video that i need to post tomorrow it's my prep vlog for spring break and i figured that i do a little bit of self-care while i do this because one it's been kind of a goal for me to do self-care more often just because it makes me feel so much better and also i feel like with all of the productivity and stuff that i've done in this vlog and like yesterday i kind of deserve a little bit of self-care as i'm being more productive with editing my video i'm not doing anything super fancy i'm just gonna use these pixie brightening eye patches that i have i love these they just feel so nice and like cool on my skin and i just love using these so i'm gonna do these and then maybe a little bit of skincare afterwards so i'm just gonna put my hair back just so that my hair stays out of my face off so we can take these off now they literally feel so good like under my eyes and also these are meant to like brighten and i feel like they do such a good job with that like i don't know how well you guys can really tell but my eyes definitely just feel brightened i don't exactly know how to like explain it but i definitely feel like they work especially if you use them more on a regular basis which i do not but i think if i did i would definitely see a bigger difference because especially with this time of year when my sleep schedule starts to get pretty bad my eye bags definitely tend to show up more especially with like dark circles so i feel like these do help but i just kind of like to pat in the last of the little like serum or liquid that is on the patches just so my skin can take it in and then i'm gonna do this serum from glossier it's the super bounce one it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 and i heard it's not good to like put the dropper on your skin so i just kind of drop it above my skin so dropper doesn't actually touch my skin I just kind of let the liquid drop on there and then just kind of rub and pat it in. And the moisturizer I use every day is from Tula Skincare. It's the 24-hour moisture. I really like it, especially because it comes in such a small size. So when I travel, I can easily take this with me. I don't know how well you guys can really tell, but I've used over half of it. And I just recently ordered new moisturizer from the Sephora sale. It's not this exact same one. It's a different brand, but they're basically like very, very similar. So I'll show you guys that in a future haul video. And then lastly, we have just a little lip product. The Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the flavor Grapefruit. Literally so, so nice. That is all of the little skincare that I've done today. Even just simple skincare steps like this can make me feel so, so nice and like refreshed. Obviously, I'm not doing any makeup today. I'm literally just gonna be at home relaxing with my main priority being finishing my YouTube video because obviously it needs to post tomorrow. I think I'll finish it. It's honestly not too bad. I don't have too much more to edit. And then I do have like two school things, but they're not like do tomorrow so if i don't get to them it's okay that was a little skincare session that i did it made me feel so much better and super productive as well and i think this is where i'm going to end today's video i will tell you guys for my content planner i have content planned all the way up to june 12th which from when i'm filming this is eight videos and that's all of my monday posts but when it does get into summer which is like the first week of june i will try to do two videos a week or just whenever i can get a video out so i'm so excited for all of this content if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I post every Monday at 8 a.m. PST. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!